check out shares of Facebook jumping in the after hours up as much as 4% at one point. Uh, now it's up 2%, beating on the top and the bottom lines. Uh, revenue rose 28% compared to last year. These results come, of course, after the company struck a $5 billion settlement with the FTC. What should we make of this, Pete? Well, I think when we look at that, and everybody comes up to that $5 billion number, and it, yes, it's a record number, all the rest of that, but the reality is, look at the cash flow of this company, and, and look at the cash that they've got. They've got $46 billion in cash. The cash flow somewhere around $10.5, $11 billion, you know. So there's a lot of different reasons why, yes, this is a penalty on anybody. Yes, this is a penalty on Facebook. But they digested that, Mel, before we came into the earnings. Then when you look at these earnings numbers and you see they still are putting out growth. This is a company that everybody said, ah, we're all leaving. We want to leave this platform. I'm going to go to Instagram. Well, Facebook happens to own Instagram. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things that are going on. Sounds right like now. antitrust. <laughs> I mean, it sounds well, like you're I, laying I, the case for the government. Well, here. if they choose to, and I'll yeah. tell you what, that will make Facebook even wealthier. Right. Some I mean, of if the they parts. end up trying to put this thing out there to the public, what's Instagram worth now? today as they're growing at the pace that they're growing could be the best I mean, thing they do for shareholders. It could be the best thing in the world for you, you know out of the 47 analysts that cover it, you have 40 buys mm -hmm. six holds and only one sell sounds like sounds like a crowded position sounds like herd mentality but they it is herd mentality but they didn't flip up till about 190 on the stock right, though they right, were they all, all had, most they all of these guys it. at 140s and 50s were like ah you got to stay away but when you look at the closure of this this doesn't i saw your interview today it doesn't preclude any further action on the antitrust front but people are getting really numb to a lot of these headwinds this is a shocker it's up 56 percent year to date mm -hmm. well this is a shocker to most people but i think at this point you can't bet against them the advertisers aren't going anywhere when it comes to the quarter though i mean all that matters is that advertisers are sticking by right. facebook right at this point regardless of what the headlines are you want to see the basics of the business keep going so in this quarter what did you like? Well, look, the, the advertising revenue doesn't show any signs of weakening. They touch one third of the world's population. This is a transnational company that that, that it's going to be very difficult for the world's governments to, to really team up on this, too. So just to be clear, uh, Steve talked about the headwinds that people are becoming somewhat inured to. Um, I, I think you still have to pay attention to the expenses. I think the downside for the stock is, is you know, is gross margin as well. Um, and I think you have to watch where they are because it's still a question of whether they can truly measure what the expense load is going to be going forward. Meanwhile, though, the, the, the revenue side of the balance sheet right now is, is extraordinary. Yeah. Guy? I, everybody said everything on that. So let's add one more sort of arrow to the superlative. Quiver. Like, that's arrow to a quiver. Okay, like. whatever you like. Well, that implies that we're going to shoot all the arrows no, 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 at some no, no, point. No, 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 You don't have to shoot your arrows. You can just put them in your quiver and you okay, can you got them. Tell Save me what the arrow them. is. And it's something I've said for a while. I don't want to like Facebook mm. for a number of different reasons. But we, and I said, with that said, you know, that move to 164 on June 3rd, was textbook, and the stock set up extraordinarily well to push towards the all-time highs from last July. It's pretty much exactly what's taken place. You know, 211 and change was last July's high. Here we are now. Ask the question. I mean, Pete talks about discipline all the time. Do you stay with it here for the breakout? I guess you could. Or do you start taking money off the table in light of the comments we had at the top of the show last night? I think the prudent thing to do is probably start to layer out of some of this. i got to tell you, I own it. I'm not even thinking about that right now. And the reason is, when I see the numbers going up, when right. I see growth going in different areas, and we all know Instagram is growing very, very rapidly and soon is going to be about 30% of the revenue that comes in. How about the fact that the average revenue now is over $7? Per user. I mean, our pool, these our numbers. Pool, uh, yeah. I just wanted to make sure I put user. it out there. Yeah, I didn't want to it. say yeah, our pool. We're not you. supposed to do acronyms. Nice. No, but I mean, when you look at some of these things and what was expected, mm -hmm. about 20 or 30 cents less than what they actually came out with. So it just does tell you how much power these guys have. How about have the fact the that strength. it's not overbought yet on an RSI, Relative Strength Index? It's not overbought yet. We're honing in on, the, on those old highs, and you want to buy old highs. And you want to buy new the, highs. You want to buy them when they're running towards it. The momentum is definitely on the side of the bulls. Well, right. whenever you look at a fundamental side of this thing and you see a P.E. trading at 22, 24, something like that going forward, I mean, it's still very cheap, yet it's got incredible growth. And you look at the balance sheet, they don't have debt, got a lot of cash, and they just took, you'll take $5 billion out of it, they'll put $5 billion right back in there. Shouldn't there be a discount, though, for all the, all the headwinds that it faces, all the clouds, the regulatory clouds? Shouldn't there be a discount? Everything violation? Pete's saying is absolutely right. Yeah. What we're saying is we're talking about a company that has no issues with the regulators, though. I mean, that's a company with no issues with the regulator. I think right. we've had a couple chances in June 3rd. We talked about that. Uh, that was the bottom in which the stock's now up 32%. 
percent off of that low. By the way, that headline, that nasty headline, served to put in a bottom mm -hmm. under the stock. So, um, I, I, yes, Mel, I, and I've been saying for a long time, I think Facebook has traded at a discount for a reason. I think people don't think that despite, obviously, the genius of this management team in creating what they created, that actually this management team has not been ahead of the curve in terms of security issues and the, and the cost to the business and really how the, the, the cost of their, their product off the assembly line is what? It's data. And, and that's something that I still think is an issue. Obviously, it's a sensitive issue. The conference call is going on right now. We have been in this position before. We sit here. We're waiting for the conference call. Everything looks fine. You want to hear, though, what the it's company says about OPEX? Last July, I mean, if you go back right. and look, I mean, go that back was, to That last, was the day. That was the day. And this, what, we're in July. So it's, it's, it's fascinating. I mean, and no, the move in. Oh, yeah. Sure we, we are. are in the July. move into <laughs> earnings, it's, it's just you talk about like history it. repeating it. I mean, I'm not suggesting we're in for that another move just, to the downside, but we're set up for exactly what we saw a year ago today.